Majestic, mysterious, ancestral, it is considered the largest freshwater and brackish fish in Europe. It can grow up to six meters in length and a hundred years of age. No, it is not a tuna, nor a shark. We are talking about the magnificent sturgeon, an ancient fish dating back some 250 million years. It was considered a royal fish for the delicacy of its meat and mainly reserved for the nobility during ancient times. However, it is even more famous for its eggs, which constitute the privileged and precious element that we are all aware of, caviar. Italy is currently the third largest caviar exporter in the world, after China and Russia. Until the 1980s, sturgeon present in Italy were found mainly in the Adriatic Sea and in the Po Basin. There were three species, the common sturgeon, Acipensasturio, Beluga sturgeon, Huzo Huzo, and the Corbici sturgeon, Acipensanacari. In recent decades, the tropicalization of river courses, with their relative barriers that prevent their upstream swim to lay eggs, increasing pollution due to industrialization, and the excess of illegal fishing, have threatened the existence of sturgeons that today are at risk of extinction. That is why in 2009, the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, better known as CITES, prohibited the production, marketing and sales of any type of caviar from wild sturgeons. If the common and beluga species have now disappeared in Italy, the Corbice sturgeon, an endemic species of the Adriatic Sea and the river courses that flow into it, was also on its way to being completely extinct. So much so that the International Union for the Conservation of Nature classified it as a species with a serious risk of extinction. For almost 20 years, the Veneto region, in collaboration with several local public administrations, as well as the Lombardy region with the European community, have brought forth recovery projects for the Corbici sturgeon with the help of the Italian Sports Fishing and Underwater Activities Federation. On several occasions, FIPSAS has introduced into the appropriate watercourses microchipped sturgeon of both breeding potentials and juvenile, obtained with controlled breeding techniques by the Lombard Storioni Ticino Company. Friend of the Sea, a non-governmental organization for the promotion of sustainable fishing, had decided to talk about the efforts undertaken and the results obtained and actively participated in several phases of the releasing of sturgeons into rivers. My name is Giacinto Giovannini, and I was born in these parts, in the middle of nature, the twelfth son of my father, Alessandro, who has done a bit of everything in life in order to help support such a large family. For his last occupation, he went into aquaculture. He had a field that was difficult to irrigate, and so he dug this hole. He saw some small fish inside, and that is where he got the idea to start breeding some carp. Then from carp, he passed over to trout. He was the first in the Lombardy region in 1952 to successfully breed rainbow trout. He taught me how to breed trout, and I, in addition to breeding some trout here, went into the business of carp and other fish by purchasing white bleak fish from the anglers of the Po River. Every once in a while, one of them would propose a sturgeon. I was so interested in this species that at first I brought around 90 sturgeon home. They had been caught in the Po, the Adda and the Olio rivers, towards Mantua and even in the Adige. I thought I had saved at least two species of sturgeon, but in fact the only species that was left in the wild was the Acinpenser nacari, the Adriatic sturgeon. Several important organizations, such as FIPSAS, 
have really helped me. This project has important implications, both environmentally, for the protection of the species, as well as for the future development of the fishery itself. Eighteen years ago, sturgeon were often spoken about, but they were no longer seen. And about 30 years have gone by since sturgeons were last caught. But thanks to a small breeding farm in the province of Brescia, we now have some specimens. We resorted to artificial reproduction. And after 20 years of periodic reintroduction of this species, we've arrived at what we think is the highlight, or at least the highest point of satisfaction for us. We have been fighting for years to save the biodiversity of sturgeon that live and breed here in our waters. Every year, Storione Ticino produces Acipenset Nakari, or Kobice sturgeon, that's sturgeon of the Adriatic, for repopulation, but also for the production of caviar. It's very important to remember that caviar is an Italian product. The Italian chain is in fact among the most important in the world. And today we have rebuilt a chain practically from scratch. This is an area where sturgeon once habitually came to reproduce. This is an ideal habitat for sturgeons. In fact, all three species of Italian sturgeons flourished and were present within this natural park. The Kobice sturgeon, or Adriatic Acipenset Nakari, the common sturgeon, or Acipense Sturio, and the sturgeon Huso Huso. Storione Ticino has inherited an important legacy, that of my father, who since 1970 has continued with the protection and preservation of the Kobice sturgeon, or Adriatic Acipenset Nakari. We should remember that fishing of this species is strictly prohibited in Italy. But if one is accidentally caught, it should be promptly reported to the competent authorities and to FIPSAS, that is, the Italian Federation of Sports Fishing and Underwater Activities. The FIPSAS experts are in fact here currently microchipping these sturgeons. We are here to microtrip 150 sturgeons that will be released into the Po River and the Adige River as part of a regional project that was carried out by the Veneto region in collaboration with FIPSAS Veneto for the reintroduction and recovery of a species that is currently abandoning our rivers and disappearing, the Kobica sturgeon. These are juvenile fish that have been reproduced and bred here in the breeding farm of Storione Ticino and will soon be introduced into the Po River. The average size is about a kilo and a half. The microchipping operation will be used above all to identify them when they're caught by fishermen. They'll now be tagged with a microchip, which I have here in my hand, and I'll use this instrument, you see, to put it in. All the specimens are measured before being released. This particular one measures 52 centimeters. The chip will be inserted immediately behind its head so that the fish doesn't suffer any injuries that could reduce its vitality. We also weigh the fish, as you can see. The microchipping will mainly help to uniquely identify the specimens released. For every fish we put back into the water, we record its length, weight and the exact location of release. Then when they're fished, we'll be able to see how much they've grown in the time they've been in the water and the number of kilometers they've traveled. Because as we know the exact release location, we'll know more or less the course the fish has taken. For example, from the Paw to the Adige. And that will also help us understand how they are distributed within the Provincial Geographic Hydro Network. We are here today to reintroduce sturgeons into the Po River, the main Italian river. We have already released about 80 of them here. And as part of a Veneto region project, all the main rivers in the region will be repopulated with sturgeon. So that's the Po, Adige, Piave and Sile rivers. Today is an important day for this project, developed by the FIPSAS Federation and Veneto region, for the reintroduction of sturgeons, which is part of the history of Veneto.
It's a project that came to life in 1999. Therefore, today it turns 18. It is a large investment that has found the support and co-participation among the fishermen themselves in a project that starts from the blue tables in order to preserve not only the sturgeon, but an entire series of activities that will safeguard and protect the environment, our rivers and our territory. I would say that this is a truly important moment that sees the sports fishing sector actively engaged in protecting the territory and bringing life back to our waterways. It's also a great opportunity to promote tourism and development in our region. We are near the dam on the Serafini Island that cuts the Po River in two. A few months ago, an ecological corridor was opened to allow the fish to ascend and descend out to the open sea. This is very important news. The sturgeon, in particular the Acipensa nacari, an endemic species of the Adriatic and Italian rivers, is constantly growing in number. Fishermen are reporting more frequently accidental catches of sturgeons without microchips and so sturgeon that have been born in the wild. This is very encouraging, as it's an important signal that gives us hope for the future biodiversity of our rivers and waterways. Over the past 20 years, this ambitious project that has seen the positive involvement of the public and private sectors has finally started to pay off. About 15,000 microchip sturgeons have been released into several rivers of the Veneto region in the provinces of Rovigo, Padua, Treviso, Verona and Venice. However, there is still much more to do. Friend of the Sea hopes that the project can continue and come to complete fruition. It is therefore necessary to combine the efforts with three fundamental objectives. Create a self-sustaining population by reintroducing into the rivers a large number of juvenile animals. Register, capture and releases of sturgeons by fishermen along Italian rivers. Increase and improve awareness and training activities for sports fishermen. <laughs>